funny. I have a I have a call in like ten minutes. So um from Charlotte, had all that, and my HelloFresh turned up. Um, I'm keeping it in the fridge unopened because I want to obviously vlog it as I open it, but I am just too tired to go through it tonight. Um, Remus is happy I'm home and can give him treats, and I am happy I'm home and in my own bed. So four of us from the office went up to Charlotte, which is where our company's corporate office is. Um, we spent like maybe 24-ish hours there and then turned around and came back down south. So it's a good trip. Um, I've never, I had never been there and it was, it was really nice to be invited and everything, but I don't travel well. So it was sort of everything I could do to keep the, um, the worry uh, at bay. I actually had picked up some internet cameras to be able to watch Remus while I was gone. Um, so I have, I don't know if I've talked about this, it's been so long since I vlogged. I may have already said this. If so, I'm gonna cut this out right here. If not, <laughs> I picked up some cameras, one to watch Burdell the golf cart, and then I had a couple, one in the living room, one in the bedroom, so I could watch Remus um, when I got anxious about him and wondered what he was doing. So. He was sleeping every single time I checked on him. So, um, mom was here a whole bunch over the over the last couple of days. Why am I so yellow? Mom was here um, a whole bunch, so I think he enjoyed that. I think he's okay. So, I'm gonna go snuggle him in my pajamas and have a coke and be done with today. <sighs> Two of the other boxes had these jars and canisters, and then the tea that's now all in this. Um, I drink tea because of my high blood pressure. One of my cardiologists said that it's a good thing to do. So honey bush vanilla is one of my favorites um, to drink hot. It's also really good mixed with um, some bitter kinds of teas like an oolong or whatever. It's really good in there. It kind of knocks it back, makes you have to lose, use much less sugar. This one I've had many times before. It's one of my favorite um, green teas. Very nice, very smooth, very light tea. This one is a new one for me, I haven't had this. I've had this Strawberry Parisio a lot, um, but this, this I think is, was its replacement, I can't remember, but it looks really delicious. This guy is a new one for me also, it's Defense, but it had um, lemongrass in it, which is something that I really like in tea, I really love lemongrass. And Tavana discontinued my favorite one, which was Bangkok lemongrass. So I'm, I've been trying all of their lemongrasses as they come out to see if I can find anything that's close to being um, as good. This one, focus, there we go, is also a new one for me. Um, I figured that'll be really good at night. Put a little cream in it and it would be, um, it's probably gonna be really full and sweet and delicious. I'm excited about that. Good dessert tea. This is another favorite green tea of mine. Um, this is delicious. If you mix this with a Rubeus tea, it's um, it's very light and fruity and it mixes really well with um, the herbals in the Rubeus. Or Rubeus, depending on who pronounces it. I think, it's, I think it's actually Rubeus, but I'm, you know, whatever. Lemon ginger is a new one for me. Um, this is another one with the lemongrass that just sounded really, really good. I was keeping my tea in these giant um, things and I've been keeping them in that for just, oh gosh, years and years and years. I've been using these giant ones. Mostly because I, I would get like the same two flavors and just have a ton of it. But these take up a lot of space and it doesn't really offer a whole lot of variety. Now they're gorgeous so I'm probably going to, um, to clean them and use them to hold something probably in the office like pencils or clips or whatever. These are the new tea tins. Um, they're very, slim and I can fit a lot of them in there and they've got that airtight thing. They're made for tea so that's really good. 
These jars are the other ones and they look like a like a milk glass jar and um, my tea scoop doesn't fit down in there so the teas I have in here are the ones that I'm really familiar with and I know what they look like in the bottom of the the tea maker when I put you know as many scoops as I want in there so that makes it really easy. Yay! This one has been following me around and getting very excited whenever I go near the food. Or, oh, oh, okay. This was in another one of the boxes. This is what I got for signing up for the Energy Saver program with my power company. They sent me a brand new fancy Nest thermostat, which I really coveted in Home Depot um, several months ago, but they are really expensive. This is like two, 200, 200 something dollars. Like I'm very, very excited about this. So I'm gonna put this there so it'll be nice and pretty. Um, I'll probably get to that tomorrow. Still wants food. So Parrish has gone to see his mama today um, in Charleston. He'll be back in town tomorrow late after, well, no, tomorrow early evening probably. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and make my first meal because I am going on a health kick, dadgummit. I, I'm gonna have to put this camera down because this thing is way too heavy. Okay, so, <laughs> box is out of the fridge now. So I, um, I went clothes shopping today because, um, because nothing fits my bottom half right now and a lot of my top half stuff doesn't fit either because I have gained a lot of weight. And I have probably gained a lot of weight, well I know I gained a lot of weight because of the, um, the who's what's it, um, the muscle relaxer that I was given for the fibromyalgia to help me sleep better. Um, I gained seven pounds in, gosh, seven pounds nine days. That's how much, how, that is how much weight I gained. Um, and the blood pressure medication has has increased and that also makes you gain weight. So, yay! Well, it's not really gain weight, it's retained fluid. But it's still weight and it still makes everything not fit. Um, so when I went clothes shopping today, um, I, you know, you can't... <sighs> so, clothes shopping today, <laughs> how many times have I said this? Um, clothes shopping today and, you know, normally I like to internet shop and then return stuff. Um, I figured since I really don't know what my size is anymore, I needed to go into the store, which means I had to try things on, which means I had to face those mirrors, which means I got completely creeped out that there were hidden cameras behind it. It's one of my weird things. Um, then um, I got a look at myself in those big mirrors with that horrible lighting, with that unflattering angle and all that kind of stuff. I was completely grossed out. I was absolutely nauseated with the state of my figure. Um, I've never been skinny. Never ever, not growing up. I have always, and I've, I've always been like at the top end, at the top end of the range for my height, right? Um, I've never been, well probably in the last, you know, the last 20 years, since college, I've been probably, probably within two or three pounds of being overweight for my height. Um, and it's, it's not, I've always been fine with being thick. Like I have no problem being thicker, being bigger, being built bigger. I'm taller, I'm broader, that's just the way I'm made, right? And that's totally fine. What I don't, what I don't think is okay is the squishy, is the rolls. I'm not okay with that. It is completely uncomfortable and totally, totally disgusting. So, uh, so I bought like bare minimum of stuff for the bottom half that'll get me through. Ooh, ooh, I'm really overexposed. The bare minimum of stuff that'll just get me through, um, hopefully, so I can lose some weight. And um, top half stuff that'll look good if I, if I drop 20 pounds, which is currently my goal. 20 pounds would put me, um, would put me, would make me really happy. So it would lose the weight that I gained from the muscle relaxer stuff and then lose some additional weight, which will probably get rid of the rolls. Um, oh, it's just gross. So I'm going on a health kick, ladies and gentlemen. If you have been watching the vlog for a little bit, you will know that I have gotten the Apple Watch for um, to monitor my, um, my pulse, my um, heart rate and it also helps with a little activity something like it'll remind me that I need to stand up or it'll, it'll tell me how close I am to my goal of burning however many calories over I want to burn. So that's good. Um, and I, I've been doing that and I've been hitting my exercise goal uh, at least three times a week which is a good start for somebody who lives the sloth lifestyle. So um, 
In addition to that, in addition to trying to meet that exercise goal and that calorie burn goal, I am um, I'm going to make a concerted effort to not eat fast food anymore because I think, I mean, I make I make healthy. <laughs> as healthy as you can get healthy choices when I eat out. Like at Starbucks, I get the um, the bistro boxes with the fruit. Um, and, you know, at Chick-fil-A, I get the grilled stuff. But, I mean, it, you know, in the end, it's still all, well, the fruit's not processed. But, you know, it's still not the best choice. So in an effort to make better choices in my, in my consumption, um, in my food eating habits, uh, I, I signed up for um, Hello Fresh, which is a Jamie Oliver thing. Hello Fresh. It's a Jamie Oliver thing. So one meal, one meal a box is a Jamie Oliver recipe, and the other things are done by nutritionists. So there's lots of um, value in there. And I'll know exactly how many calories are in each meal, even though I'm making them, which is hard. It's hard to gauge how many calories you're eating when you home make food. At least I find that. I'm sure there are resources. I'm sure that I could do better than I do, but I don't, so. <laughs> um, right, so here is, if I can, wait a minute. Right, here is the box. Um, this is super fun. This is how it arrives, because it's shipped via UPS, and obviously there's real food in here. Um, oh, that must be the recipe bits. Um, recipe bits, and then everything, oh, how cute. Everything is all boxed up. How fun. And there are ice packs underneath those, and I guess this is where, it's where the fish is. That's the salmon. Ugh. It says that they're reusable, so I'll stick these in the freezer and use them when we go out in the golf cart or pack or packed or whatever. I'll wash them off though, because they're a little gooey. Okay, so we've got spiced salmon, which is probably the thing you've got to make. For, oh yeah, it does say make me first because it's fish. So I'll make that um, probably in the next hour or two. This one is the Jamie Oliver recipe with the squash and penny bake. Um, and then this is chicken uh, pillard, I guess. I don't know, but it it's really cute. Look how precious these are. I guess you can, and you stick the boxes back in the fridge and make them when you're ready. And these are the recipe cards. And obviously you can put these in a thing and make them yourself um, next time. You know, you just get the get the stuff. But this these are typically made um, for people who don't normally cook, um, and since I, I feel like I am probably a um, beginner advanced, <laughs> that makes, that'd make a whole lot of sense. I am, I am a more than an intermediate cook, but I wouldn't call myself advanced. Um, I am like on that cusp, I think. Anyway, so directions are very detailed, photos and the whole thing, so that'll be really good. Um, gonna make the salmon first, obviously. Then I'll probably do the chicken one. It's really, really neat. And then this guy is the bake. This is the one that I am most excited about. This theme, this is the one that looks like it is tailor-made for me, Annie, because, oh, squash and pasta and deliciousness. So, uh, yeah, so there are the nutritional information parts. Um, it's really good. Really, really good. for today is to switch out the thermostats. Um, I'm not sure how complicated this is. I'm hoping there are directions. You are so cute. Uh-oh, things just got complicated. <laughs> Good news, I found the instructions. Now I just have to figure out which circuit breaker belongs to the heating and cooling units. I hope they're labeled. Oh dear, well they're labeled, it's positive. Um, furnace. I guess it's the furnace. I don't know what else it could be. Okay, well, here we go. Okay, I think that worked because this is off now. So, hmm, that was remarkably easy. Fortunately, I've had to use the plate that came in the box um, to cover up the giant hole in the sheetrock because it wouldn't go on the wall any other way, so. Look what I did, y'all. So 
we're not off to a great start. Um, that loud, hang on, cat fur, cat fur in the lens. Cat fur. Eh, eh. <laughs> we're not off to a great start um, with the HelloFresh because um, I, I forgot how smoky olive oil is and how hot the pan has to get for the salmon to do because I haven't done salmon in a pan in, gosh, years. Um, so while I was trying to figure out why the recipe said to zest the lemon and then never told you where to put that lemon zest, um, obviously it needs to go in the vinaigrette, but I was just trying to figure out am I missing something, what is going on? I wasn't paying attention to just how smoky the olive oil got and um, all the smoke detectors um, work. So good news. <sighs> it's really good, like really good. Um, I am enjoying it with some Jimmy Fallon and that's gonna be my night. What is today? Saturday. Yes, that is a really good Saturday night. All I need now is pajamas and a kitty. He, um, he ran away because of the smoke detectors. So I am at my, my church, my place of worship, um, which is the, the docks near my house, and I'm eating my oatmeal breakfast and drinking my oatmeal, drinking my oatmeal? <laughs> drinking my breakfast frappuccino. Um, I am, I'm gonna eat my breakfast quietly in peace and then I'm gonna run up to the mall and return about half the stuff I bought yesterday because um, either either I didn't try it on and tried it on at home and eh, um, or I tried it on in the store and I got it home and it was like, why, why did I think this looked good? Because the mirrors are so, the mirrors and the lightings are so different. Um, so that's going back and then I'm gonna head home and very likely, um, you know, tidy up the kitchen and 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 maybe go ahead and cook the um, the dinner early so it can be in the vlog. It's a great reason to cook dinner early <laughs> so it can make it in the vlog before upload. Um, yeah, but this morning I actually I got up early and I exercised for a full 30 minutes and got a shower and tried out my new hairbrush, which is I think did really well. Um, got the curl a little a little fatter so um i upgraded from the i think it's like a an inch and a quarter um dry bar yellow brush um to a three inch round um i don't know whatever it's a little bit it's bigger it's not the fattest one you can get it's the next one um but it gives a much bigger much fatter rounder looser curl and that's what i like um i like to look i like it to have a little life to it um, the tiny brush was either getting it too straight or um, was putting like waves in it, like kinks in it. I, I just wasn't, because my hair is getting longer and you gotta change things when your hair gets longer. Just like you have to change things when it gets shorter. So every now, it's just, oh, it's just, oh, it's so much work. So much work to be a girl. Um, right, so I am um, I'm doing all of that and I'm really enjoying the rainy weather and um, I think it's gonna be a good day. Would you look at this? Look at him. He's got his nose pressed up to the strap of my bag. I think I'm just gonna have to get my um, my wallet out and go to the store. Okay, so um, I'm not gonna make it till this evening because I'm just I'm too tired. I'm kind of worn out. So um, I'll let you know how dinner is on Monday. Um, but update: these things right here are amazing that was the most delicious snack i've ever had in my life and i haven't looked at the calorie count on it but i don't care because it's greek yogurt and that's supposed to be good for you it's very good for your for your innards and whatnot and i'm gonna go to publix right now and get every flavor they have and eat them all so hooray um what else i don't think there's anything else op is running a little late so i probably won't make dinner tonight anyway um and that'll be it i think so oh this, I'm getting my hair cut, I think, next week, next week or the week after. And I'm, I think I'm going to go back to the swoopy bang because that little piece right there, this one that separates, is on my last nerve. My last nerve. I only have the one. So I'm going to have the bangs, the swoopy bangs put on, um, put on again because I really like them. Um, I was able to style them um, more often than not. And this, this growing out mess just isn't. This is not doing it for me anymore. So, um, I, ooh, how much of me can you see in the mirror? I hope not much. <laughs> I'm wearing leggings and um, not a shirt that covers my rear, so. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> maybe everything's to put that out. So that was my week. Encourage each other with sweetness and light, and I will see you next Sunday.